Dr. Peoples here, and I'm back with uh, with another lesson. So, like I always say, um, for any additional materials, for any additional videos, you can actually uh, follow our page on Facebook, it's HMT Academy Online Tuitions. So this is the only platform that we use. Uh, if you see any other platform apart from this on Facebook, it's probably fake. So it's HMT Academy Online Tuitions. We have about 42,300 and something followers. That's the page that we're actually using. So any page that you see that uh, is written HMT Academy Online Tuitions, it's, uh, it's a fake one. Now, uh, in this lesson, I will try and break down the biology syllabus. Because I think some of us are really I really, I really, I really unaware of what we are expecting or what is expected of us uh, when it comes to biology. So first of all, biology is, uh, is, uh, is one of those subjects which is wide in terms of the syllabus. Biology is different from chemistry. Biology is kind of different from, from physics. So for biology, uh, for let's say chemistry and physics, you can mostly use one book and uh, you'll be safe mostly on average, but for biology, if you use one book, you'd find that the other diagram that was in the other book uh, is not the one that you're having in the exam. It's not the one that you're having in the exam. So um, what does one really need to know about biology? So by the way, there are 30 topics that you guys have in biology. So for grade 10, there are about 12 topics. You have about 12 topics for grade uh, 10, if I'm not mistaken. You have about 12 topics uh, for grade 10 work. You have about 12 topics for grade 10 work. 12 topics? Yeah, 12 topics. In fact, you said 10.12, 12 topics. Then for grade 11, I think you have about uh, eight topics, from, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, eight topics uh, for grade, uh, uh, I think it should be 10 topics for grade 11. Then for grade 12, of course, we have uh, we have uh, eight topics. Now from these uh, 30 topics, how many topics do you actually know? Uh, judge yourself today. Judge yourself today. So as you are watching this video, I would really want you to judge yourself. So of course, there's living organisms and life processes. So how well do you know living organisms? Uh, can you define feeding? Can you define breathing? Can you define, define reproduction, growth, locomotion, sensitivity, or irritability, excretion? Are you able to uh, define all these? And are you, are you able to differentiate between uh, living and non-living organisms? Are you able to tell what a catabolic and anabolic reaction is, including examples? So. Uh, for example, if one is looking at uh, catabolism, you know it's the breaking down of large food molecules or large molecules into smaller molecules. So for example, if you look at digestion, that's uh, catabolism. That is what I'm talking about. So cell structure and organization. How well are you able to name parts of a microscope and define or state their functions? So in terms of cells, are you able to state the function of the nucleus, cytoplasm, uh, cell membrane, organelles, uh, ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum? Are you able to, to define all these? Are you able to state their functions? Uh, differentiate between uh, plant cell and animal cells. Uh, plant cells, of course, have uh, a cell wall. Animal cells have got no cell wall chloroplast or that vacuo in a in a plant uh, in a plant cell like that which has a tonoplast or that are you able to 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 define all those cells and water when we are looking at osmosis crenation plasmolysis uh tagigity and all that cell lysis how would you know these nutrients carbohydrates of course uh proteins their sources um their functions, uh, what happens if you don't take them? How well are you able to look at all these enzymes? Enzymes. So you have a lot of topics that can be broken down. 
So we can take the whole day just breaking down these topics. But how well do you know all these topics? Because mostly for paper two, you'd have a few topics that would uh, repeat. For example, you'd, ha you'd have cells or enzymes on number one. Then you'd have genetics on number five. Then the other topics from two to four, uh, they vary, of course. So you might have questions on excretion, on homeostasis, and on the others. Uh, for section B, uh, there are quite a few topics that repeat, and uh, I, would really, I would really want you to actually take note of them. So for example, you're supposed to know, like let's say uh, respiration, you're supposed to know photosynthesis, growth and development, homeostasis, excretion, uh, ecology, uh, you're supposed to know reproduction, sexual and asexual reproduction, you're supposed to know transport in plants and transport in man. So there are about nine topics that you guys are supposed to take note of. So you can actually write them down and check in the past paper. You'd mostly find these uh, in section B. So if you are looking at section B, if you do the nine topics that I've stated, uh, you would have uh, an upper hand for section B. Now, uh, what we what we have, of course, we have uh, quite many topics that you guys have to have to go through in terms of the syllabus. 30 is not a joke. So from now until July, you would have to go through 30 topics. Some of us go for work. Some of us are very busy, uh, such that we don't have enough time to study. Uh, you need study time. You actually need study time. You actually need study time. Because definitely what you put in, that's what you get at the end of the day. So if you're really having challenges with, uh, with, uh, with uh, all these, you're supposed to actually work on them. Otherwise, they'll actually come back hunting you. They'll actually come back hunting you. So if you have any challenges, you can actually, you can actually work on them. You can actually work on them, but, if you're still finding challenges uh, in terms of working on them, uh, you can actually join our Zoom classes. So it's, uh, it's, it's a daily program. So we have classes from Monday up to, up to Monday, or Sunday up to Sunday, Sunday to Sunday, Monday to Monday, like that. So we have a class from 04 to 06. We have a class from 08 to 11. We have a class from uh, 18 to 21. So we're also organizing classes in the afternoon. So we'll definitely let you know uh so for any inquiries uh for anything uh you can actually send me a message on whatsapp like i said at the beginning of uh of this lesson uh you can actually send me a message on whatsapp so you can either register for the whatsapp classes um so by the way we, we also have got some free zoom classes that we conduct so you can actually register for them through this line so if you want one-on-one -on -one classes, uh, biology classes, math classes, chemistry, physics, or English classes, you can actually send us a message on this WhatsApp line. Uh, for you to have like more information or see some of the lessons that we've done, you can actually check out our page, HMT Academy Online Tutions. So like I said, we have, we have about 44,300 and something followers, and this is our official page. So for anything, you can actually send me a message on the WhatsApp line that uh, I, I have just written down. So this has been Dr. Purpose, and, uh, and I am signing on. So by the way, like I said, Zoom, we have classes daily. You can register for the normal Zoom classes, or you can register for the one-on-one -on -one classes. It's up to you. So for the normal Zoom classes, you'd like have everyone, but of course, we've uh, divided them into, into sessions so that we can have uh, at least a good number, not a very big number, so, so that you guys can have an opportunity to ask and learn effectively. So for anything, you can actually send me a message. This has been Dr. Purpose, and I am signing out.